just we were well beaten by a better team today, no excuses. Um, yeah, it was a very disappointing display and performance by us, but uh, take the hat, hat off to Ireland, I thought they played exceptionally well. At the end of the day, they dominated us up front, and that was the difference between the two teams. I thought they uh, mauled very well, competed hard at the breakdown, made it difficult. Um, and you know, so there was a difference between the two sides. It was similar to what we experienced, I think, in the first half last year, but they maintained that for 30 minutes. And uh, I mean, I don't think we, we ever underestimated Ireland. Um, you know, I remember watching the, uh, the All Blacks game when they played here at home. Uh, I thought they were great then. Uh, they were impressive last week, so we knew what was coming. Um, but like you know, what like Gats just said, I think most aspects of the game, especially up front, uh, breakdown, mall, you know, line out. Um, you know, they, they definitely did better there than us, and um, that went a long way to, to them winning the match. Then two things that are probably disappointing from that. We'd spoken about disciplines, and we've given away 17 penalties, which has been uh, disappointing. Um, which gave them an opportunity then to kick for touch and then to get the driven, dri uh, driving line-out going. And we'd spoken and worked hard on line-out defence this week and you know, we just weren't good enough today. So we need to, like, as, as the players take responsibility, as coaches we will take responsibility as well and um, you know, make sure you know, what, what can we do to, to make today better. Um, because it's, a, it's collective as a group and we need to show some character and bounce back in terms of performing the, uh, improving the performance for the next game against France? You know, we knew we, we couldn't keep giving away penalties. Whenever we, 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 we regrouped in the first half and it was always just, it was just discipline and territory. We've got to improve our discipline and that'll give us territory. And um, we were talking about it, but it just didn't happen. And uh, I don't put a lot of pressure on us, you know, in the breakdown area, which is, um, you know, why we forced those, forced those penalties. But um, it was something we knew we had to correct, but uh, we didn't, uh, we just didn't do it. In fairness to Ireland, I mean, they haven't, you know, they've been effective in the way they played. They played very close, they competed hard at the breakdown. I think, the, what was the kicking stats, 37 to about 21. They've kicked the leather off it, but it's been effective. Um, played a lot of one-pass rugby. Um, and, you know, potentially sometimes we've, we've been criticised in the past for not playing rugby and we've gone out there and we've tried to move the ball on a few occasions. Um, but, as I said, I'm not making any excuses for the way um, the, the performance was, you know, wasn't good enough and Ireland deserved to win. It made it very difficult for us. You know, we got the, uh, there was a question for about game plan execution. I think it was execution really from, uh, particularly from the forward pack where it would just be simple things like cleaning rucks, um, you know, getting our, our big ball carries into the game and uh, we just weren't efficient there. And uh, I thought Ireland made most rucks uh, very difficult for us, made the ball slow. Um, had to commit extra numbers, then we'd end up, you know, gradually losing our structure. So I think um, you know they deserve credit that they did very well, you know, in um, in the breakdown defence. I think it's it's going back and having a look at those the penalties that we've given away, where we could improve. It's been a, a key focus for us. Um, you know, we have a target of ten or ten or, or less, so to give seventeen away is, from from our point of view, is not acceptable. But uh, so we just need to make sure that. Yeah, that's an area that we improve on for the next game. Yeah, we wanted to get uh, um, wing wingers involved and, uh, and lots of touches. Uh, the criticism of us has just been able, was able to hold on to the ball for long phases, you know, and, um, and Isla made it difficult for us by competing hard at, at the breakdown area. And uh, there was a period in the second half, I think we, we kept some, some possession and, uh, and put them under, under a bit of pressure, but unfortunately, we, again have had a turnover in, the, in their 22 and, um, and we need to be better uh, in that area. I mean particularly you know probably for us the disappointment was the contact area it's something we do work hard on at um, and we've just uh, you know haven't been as sharp today as we normally are. Yeah I think it was a bad day at the office I just thought the island's height of the game was better than ours. Uh, that, that game was going to have fun football. And uh, obviously they won the contact area effectively, which uh, you know gave them several opportunities. I thought Johnny Sexton in terms of his kicking game was fantastic. The way he turned us and put us under pressure, and uh, ultimately through our lack of discipline, our driving la couldn't defend their driving line and put us under extreme pressure. Really. Yeah, when you can see 20 points from uh, from a driven line out and a couple of other, and so there's there's the difference in the game, isn't it? So it's not about uh, 
it's about us making sure that you know we're better in those areas going forward. Um, yeah, you know, so we'll, we'll we'll be very critical of ourselves. We always are, and coaches will be hard on themselves. The players will be hard on themselves, and we'll make sure that you know if we have had a poor performance in the in the past, we have generally come out and been pretty good pretty good in the next game. And so, like I said, that's a test of character. Uh, making sure that we work harder on the things that need to improve from this game. I think it's one step at a time, and it's um, and the first step is making sure that we improve on, from today and uh, and concentrate and focus on uh, France at home on uh, next time we play. And so forget about, you know, we won't be thinking past the, in terms of retaining the Six Nations, we'll be thinking about making sure that that performance improves against France.